All right, welcome to the refinery table. How does this device work? It's a fairly new device they've installed, okay? I think there are two models here, right? We have the chamber module and the refinery. Basically, they tell us up to two of these can be placed on top of a refinery, okay? The refinery module can be placed and I think it'll improve. Let's see if I can place it correctly. There it is. I think it'll improve efficiency, okay? Can you see it? This module only measures, basically, as you can see, it's empty here, the output, and each module we add on top allows us one more, okay? There it is. We put this on, and now we have three outputs. Can you see it? Because we have two modules on top, okay? So, what's the refinery table for? If we right-click on the refinery table, we see it can't add any modifications. It needs power, has input. Uh... A liquid input D, sorry, basically helps us get liquids. As you can see, the output is three liquids. So you put in the input like mineral slurry or clay and theoretically quartz comes out, I think. But the interesting stuff is when you put in heavy ice, okay? Heavy ice is made with oil, which comes from sand, polymer resin and other things. As I mentioned, this table is new, all right? I'll keep explaining as we go. Here we can put shovel fire and raw copper to get lava, got it? We can mix oil and clay to get diesel, naphtha and sulfuric acid. Here we can make strange matter with an indirect compound and lava, okay? This way we can make strange matter, shovel fire or sulfuric acid and well there's a lot more, you know? If you want to use it, go ahead. I should say this isn't super necessary for the entire mod, alright? The strange matter which seems most interesting is used to make clean intelligence, okay? With a dubious container and other stuff. But these aren't super complicated things either, so yeah, there you have it.